There isn't much standing between us and another devastating pandemic. But we do have one significant tool in our belt. Let's take a look at how Empress Eye can make a real difference in early warning and early action for animal disease forecasting. Everyone ensures we have the capacity to take early action. This means we can prevent animal disease from spreading rather than reacting after they have already spread widely. Early action is way more cost effective than control and saves lives and economies. There are disease events happening all over the world and Empresite collects information that incorporates data from different sources to give us a more complete picture. With the use of this data, situation updates on high impact disease are produced for early warning and therefore allows countries to prepare or respond to disease early in advance. Many diseases have also a regional dimension, either due to similar ecoclimatic risk factors or through networks of value chains. So it's important to assess and forecast disease risk at regional level so that actions can be coordinated with all stakeholders. And through Empress I, FAO is able to coordinate in collaboration with IGAD regional efforts to send out alert messages to the country well in advance to warn the countries of the anticipated incursion of RVF uh, outbreak in the, in the region. And therefore, collectively, the countries are prepared together. Now, the livestock sector is a very key sector in our region in that it contributes between 16 and 70 percent of the GDPs in our member states and this helps uh, to not only secure pastoral livelihoods but also uh, livelihoods of other actors along the uh, livestock value chains. A good example of a regional response is when there was an outbreak of uh, uh, Rift Valley fever in 2018. Rift Valley fever, in short, RVF. The disease is prevalent in the region. It is transmitted by biting insects and it affects both human and livestock. Prior to the outbreak, the FAO uh, and IGAD uh, early alerts on Rift Valley fever had indicated that there might be, a, there was a likelihood uh, of there being an outbreak of Rift Valley fever. And the member states took this very seriously. Uh, in Kenya and Rwanda, the countries enhanced their awareness creation. While in Uganda, they retrained their Rift Valley fever uh, field and laboratory teams. So the alert was timely, and the alert uh, enabled the countries avoid a major disease outbreak and spread. An outbreak of RVF therefore will threaten food and the nutrition security at the household level, national level, as well as at the regional level. And we should also remember that when we have an outbreak, countries tend to ban livestock trade and the associated products. And consequently, that creates a lot of burden to the daily livelihoods of the pastoralists in the region. Fortunately, under the several proje projects of early warning within the FOEO, we have formulated and developed what we call decision supporting tool, which is RVF decision supporting tool, which, make, which provides decision makers with an efficient real-time forecasting system that can guide decision making and at the same time guide response on time. The TST allow us to monitor the situation, uh, generate risk maps and forecasts, enhance uh, near real-time data sharing, and send out regional alerts. So with this approach, the alert and warning messages are sent before the reporting or observation of the first sign of the Rivali fever incursion in the field with uh, a prediction capacity of at least one or two months, which is very important because it allows the country to take measures in the ground. 
given that uh, member states uh, have competing needs uh, and limited resources, it's only when they have reliable early warning that they can be able to reallocate resources to this other imminent threat. And therefore, when, we, when the countries received an RVF uh, early warning, they were able to reallocate uh, resources for awareness creation, preparation of uh, field teams, and preparation of the lab teams. This was courtesy of the early warning uh, information that they received. Emphasize use multi source data which allow for quick analysis and risk assessment based on which alerts are provided. And this early warning, early action has a huge effect on the trajectory of an outbreak, especially for zoonotic diseases that warrant John coordinated One Health actions. So, MPSI has proved very effective at facilitating regional One Health coordination.